Hey guys, I'm here with another Battle of the Boxes. This one is going to be Boxy Charm, not Boxy Charm, Birch Box. Birch Box and Ipsy. So we have Birch Box here and Ipsy is in the little bag. We'll go ahead and check out Ipsy first. Ipsy is very summery and it's got like um, little umbrellas like for the beach and everything. And it just says Ipsy here. So, and it's solid on the other side with the typical Ipsy little. Um, zipper pull thing. The zipper's cute because it's got the same colors as the umbrellas and it's pink and blue. Let's see, it feels kind of good. I don't know, I don't even know. I haven't seen any um, spoilers or anything. It seems like a lot of stuff in here. Let me just dump it all out. Okay, the first thing that we have is from Makeup Forever. This is called Excessive Lash and it's an arresting volume mascara. It says, Excessive Lash creates long-lasting panoramic volume that fans out for a truly dramatic eye-opening effect. It's a nice packaging. It's like a matte black. The wand is kind of narrow and very dense looking, so I'm excited to see how this performs. All right, so the next thing that I got here is from Eva NYC. It says it's a Get Glossed Hair Serum. Um, okay, I don't know. We get these little hair, I like hair oils. I use them every single day, maybe twice a day. So I'm I'm perfectly fine with getting hair oils. Next thing we got is from Trust Fun Beauty. It's in the color No Filter. It's a beautiful, I can't figure out if it's a lavender or a kind of neutral tan color. It's kind of like an in-between. It's really, really pretty. I really like that a lot. Um, my previous tries with Trust Fund Beauty, um, it wasn't the best. So hopefully this one will go on a lot better because this color is just gorgeous. I really like it. Um, next we got is an eyebrow pencil from JCat. Um, this is a duo. Mine came kind of jacked up. This was actually bent sideways and I kind of just corrected it. Um, but um, it's a really nice eyebrow pencil the pencil itself it's like a little oval shaped pencil when you when you um, untwist it or twist it out um, and it's a it's brown it's not dark brown but it's not light brown either it's kind of like the in between it's kind of bright um, so hopefully it, it'll be okay and I like that it's very very stiff because you know for your eyebrows you want it to be very stiff and not too too creamy so you don't have like like you can't tell right now, but I was using my Anastasia, the little one in the pot, the gel or whatever it's called. Um, and the brush that I was using had like a little buildup on one end of the angle brush. And I saw it and I was like, oh, let me just twist it over and just wipe it off. And I was like, Phew. and I was like, oh crap. <laughs> so on camera, I think it looks okay on camera. It actually gives me more defined brows. I guess it's okay for, for this purpose. But in real life, I was like, whoa back it up in it. The last thing that I got in here is from Mellow and I really like the stuff that I've gotten from Mellow so far. I got a blush that I can remember. I want to say there's one more thing but I just can't recall. Um, this is a baked eyeshadow in cocoa and it's completely demolished inside. I mean it's coming out. It was coming out all over the place. When I opened the little baggie it was in, it was just everywhere. So I honestly, I would love to use the color because I kind of grabbed the color from the outside that had kind of slipped out and it's really pretty, really, really pretty. It's definitely a shade that I would use, but it is going to be a huge mess, especially since it's baked and the way that they're baked, they're kind of like up and over. So I know as soon as I open it, it's going to be like all over. So, you know, I'm definitely going to message Ipsy about the items that I got that were kind of damaged. So it's unfortunate. I really like the Mellow products and I have a feeling that this was going to be really amazing. But, you know. Anyway, so the Ipsy bag was quite awesome this month. Ipsy did a bang up job. They really did. Really nice. But I will definitely be messaging them not so much about this because that's not such a big deal, but for sure about this eyeshadow because. Uh, now that I've been holding it, it's like all over the place. That's super annoying. Let me put it off to the side and not have it touch anything else. So that was a really great bag. Now on to Birchbox. Birchbox is a cute little 
um, container here this month. It just kind of looks like summer. I forgot to choose. I think I forgot. Did I forget to choose? No, I think I did choose my sample choice. So opening the box, it says here, hello world, let's do this. And it's got like fruit and coffee. It looks like breakfast kind of stuff. Um, it actually says hashtag beauty and breakfast. So, okay. I think you had a choice of different mascaras or you can choose a box. And I think I chose the box, I wanna say. Um, even though I did get a, a mascara also, I got the Smashbox X-rated mascara. I do have this already. I kind of used it, I think, uh, I don't really wanna open this one, but it's got like a weird brush. It's like a square brush and it's kind of prickly and it's kind of sharp and it's it's you can feel it. Like when you're putting it on normally, the edges of the bristles don't touch like the base of your lashes. Um, and if it does, it doesn't really hurt, but this one kind of is, is scratchy. So, um, I, I don't know because that kind of bothers me and it doesn't give me like super uh, voluminous, voluminous, voluptuous, there we go. That's the word I'm th thinking of, voluptuous lashes, which is what I crave because I have like very next to nothing kind of lashes. So mm. next we have um, a thermal spring water. We got water in some other box recently. I don't know if it was this one or some other one. It wasn't the same brand, but I think I have gotten this before and I actually, I don't mind getting this because I kind of like it. Um, and I like to take this. We're gonna be going away for another weekend coming up soon to the beach. And um, so this will be nice to have. Um, I've gotten this before. This is from Orib, I think that's how you say it. It says shampoo and conditioner for brilliance and shine. And this particular shampoo, I really like this one. These little packets, I normally frown upon them. I hate them. I can't stand these little packets. I have such very, very long hair and little hair packets do nothing for me. I can't tell if it's gonna be good or bad or whatever, but every once in a while I'll get something and I'll try it and I'll be like, whoa, that little tiny packet of shampoo actually did something. So, and this was one of those things and I really liked it, so I'm happy to have this one. Next is from Evo Love, I'm guessing, Evo Love. Um, luxury hair care system, super finish polishing balm to smooth hair. And this one I'm not excited about whatsoever. I don't need any, I don't like balms. I use oils and stuff like that. Eh, maybe I'll use it for my daughter's hair or something. I'm not a fan of stuff like this, like leave-in conditioners and leave-in conditioning spray. It just leaves my hair kind of greasy kind of looking and weighed down and crunchy looking. So I'm not a fan of that kind of stuff. Um, and then we have an itty bitty, itty bitty sample, which these are normally like free samples that you can get wherever. Um, this is of the Kiehl's Hydro Plumping Retexturizing Serum Concentrate. I'm assuming, no, I was gonna say it's for hair, but I know Kiehl's is for skin people, I know that. But when it says retexturizing serum concentrate, I was kind of thinking serum, retexturizing, you know, like hair stuff, but apparently I don't think so. I think it's for your face. What better way to find out than to read the card. It says a potent blend of plant-based glycerin and Japanese shisho leaf extract. Hydrates skin and softens fines, fine lines. So it's not that I'm not going to use it. I just wish it was a big sample. This is like the tiniest sample. Okay. What else to say? And then another little itty bitty tiny sample. Really? of this Daily Correct CC Cream from Supergoop, and this is in light medium. So, <clears throat> I would say that this might be one of the worst birch, birch boxes just because of the sample sizes. Because these are, like, really, the only, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm kind of speechless. The only, th I mean, look, Look how little. I mean, yes, it's a lot of stuff. One, two, three. Oh, you can't even review for points anymore, people. What am I talking about? Or no, this month might be the last month. Is it this month? July. Yes, I think July 11th. It's already July 7th, 16th. 
I swear they said July 11th was the last time you're going to be able to review your products and get points for it. Unless it's the month of July. I don't know. Hopefully it's this month because then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven products that I could review um, for points. But if not, that's a little annoying. Um, I don't know if they thought putting multiple, more than four or five products in here was going to make up for it. I don't know. This is not, to me, worth $10. Just looking at it. And obviously I haven't costed anything out. And even when I do cost it out, I have a serious doubt in my mind that it's going to be $10 or just over $10, if that. Um, so I'm quite disappointed in the box this month. Uh, these samples, even though whatever I do the cost out and, and do my little calculations and stuff like that, no matter what it's worth, these are like free samples that you can get wherever. Like if you order something online or whatever, these are little free samples that you would get. This is, yeah, this is a deluxe sample. This is a travel size and this is a deluxe sample. So basically you get three deluxe samples and then these little mini U sample thingies. I don't know. All right, so these are the comparison of the boxes. Uh, yeah, definitely Ipsy won out this month. Way, way, big time, big time, big time. So I'm really disappointed in Birchbox, to be honest. I'm super disappointed. Anyway, so minus the Birchbox points that we're no longer going to be getting, and um, the, the sad box that we got this month, too. Wow. That says a lot. What is going on? I think that they really don't even want to be in the subscription box service anymore. I think they're just like, whatever they have, let's use it. Let's get rid of it. That's what it seems like. All right, so that is it for my Battle of the Boxes with Ipsy and Birchbox. Kind of disappointed. Happy with Ipsy. Disappointed with Birchbox. How many times can I say I'm disappointed in one video? Too many. All right, you guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again in another video.